Greetings, friends. I hope you're enjoying putting together your exegetical sermons. I've loved the ones I've seen so far. And once again, I will turn in your feedback when I'm done with it and when you have done your self-evaluation. I don't want that self-evaluation to be any way clouded by what I share with you. Uh, remember, once you've done that, then you will have your group to go back and assess uh, and I apologize again that somehow the way things came out in my fire, there's two different places you can upload that for your peers to be able to see. And it looked like with sermon number one, a few of you didn't check both places and said, wait a second, I didn't miss anybody. Um, and, and there was somebody there in one of those other places. So it may be worth looking at both the, uh, it's, I think it's called week six uh, discussion forum two, and then it's also sermon number two sharing forum. Both of those, for whatever reason, one is available on the little poll app and that and the other one is more available on the computer so i apologize for all that and then i will give you my feedback please remember to upload your your sermon study notes and this is a lot more of a big deal than it was with the first sermon aiken curtis and rummage are very specific about what they're looking for if you are at all confused about that i uploaded some samples some good ones from some previous years. You don't have to go all over like uh, one of those samples is really overboard, but it's just the ultimate if you want to see what to look at. So take a look at those, give you some ideas, upload those, and then your preaching notes, that's an outline, the structure that you're going to follow along. If you want to write a manuscript, that's fine too. It helps me as I'm seeing, okay, understanding how you intended to communicate. A lot of you are very good at following those exactly. Others of you will flow a little bit differently and I can kind of see, okay, I see where you're headed there with that. So do both of those. Those. I remember your sermon is due tomorrow night, Tuesday night, and then all, all of your study notes and delivery notes. Then your peer feedback and as well as your self feedback is due the following week. And then we will begin the transition into teaching. And you'll be taking a look at different teaching elements. Uh, that final week, week eight, you will have a teaching guide, basically like a syllabus, and then an outline of one of the sessions for whatever setting you want. You've got a lot of freedom and flexibility there. And then finally, that theology of teaching in or preaching paper that you've been working on throughout the, the course. It kind of gives you a chance to synthesize things you've been picking up in the reading. If you want to integrate lectures, that's fine. If you want to integrate other sources, that's fine too. All, all of that stuff is great. I did not get a huge response for doing a separate live synchronous session. So unless more of you say you'd really like to do that, won't worry about that. Some of you are pointing out how hard it is with your schedules. You love the flexibility you get with asynchronous whenever you can come in and do that. I totally understand that don't want to pressure you with any of that. Um, and by the way, anything that you've got, any questions, don't hesitate to email those. I will say I can't always get immediate feedback on sermons. This takes a lot of time, if you can imagine. And I'm still a dean. There's still a lot of work going on. I'm developing other online classes too. So I will do my best to get those done it's, uh, within a week if I can possibly do so. But I do want to give you the best feedback that I can do. And so God bless you guys. Look forward to watching you preach.